We are looking south. We're on the island of Montreal, in the province of Quebec, in the country of Canada. And we're going to be chatting today. Bella, vegan dog, is going to hang out with us while we do. Hello, students. I have a question to ask you, and I want you guys to write your answers in the comment section. Today, we're going to be talking about adopting animals and adopting children. And I have an idea. What do you think about this? In order to be able to adopt an animal, you should have to go through some sort of a test. The same test is when you want to adopt a child. So when you want to adopt a child, what do you have to go through? Well, you have to have a therapist come and check you out or a social worker. You have to go through all kinds of checks to make sure that you're not a criminal, that you're not a pedophile, that you haven't paid anybody to hurt anybody, you know, to just make sure you're a decent person. You have to have people vouch for you and that sort of thing. And then they come in and check your home as well to make sure that there's not anything weird going on in your house. Like, it's quite something when you want to adopt a kid. But when you want to adopt an animal, you can just basically go in there and just, you know, they'll just pretty much give you the animal, which is not really right in my view. So I was thinking that there should be a rule that in order to be able to adopt a cat or a dog, you should have to go through the same kind of check. So somebody, for example, would ask you, you know, have you ever heard an animal before? And you're probably going to say, um, no, I've never heard an animal. But then they're going to say, okay, well, what about eating them? Have you ever paid somebody to hurt an animal? And then of course, 99.9% .9 of the public is going to say, uh, yeah, yeah, I have done that. So then the person might say, well, okay, um, that's too bad. So no, you can't really adopt an animal. If you like pay people to hurt animals, why would we trust you with an animal? The same for if it was a child, right? They would never let you adopt a child if you pay people to hurt other children. So then you might say to yourself, okay, well, let's give people a break, right? Let's give them a chance to, to change. So then the person might say, okay, you know what? We're going we're gonna to come back and ask you and again in three months how it's going, if you've stopped eating animals or not. So then somebody's going to come and check your house, you know, ring your doorbell, spot check, open up your fridge. Are there any dead animals in your fridge? And you're gonna be like, okay, I'm fine. I'm vegetarian now. I don't eat animals anymore. Come ahead, go ahead, check my fridge, check my freezer, no more dead body parts. So then the person's gonna say, okay, but what about this? And they're gonna hold up some milk from a cow. And you're gonna be like, well, I didn't kill anyone for that. And they're gonna be like, well, in the industry, they do. They hurt baby cows. They forcefully impregnate the mothers steal the babies, they slit their throats, they turn them into coats and shoes and handbags and veal, and they put them on a sandwich. So you're still technically paying for the sadness and the murder and the torture of these, these animals. So then the person might say, okay, well, you gotta be vegan. You know, you can't even have eggs in your fridge either because that's the same thing. In the egg industry, the baby boy chicks are put on an assembly line just because they're boys and they won't be able to lay any eggs. They murder them. So, then you might be say, well, it's not really fair because I want to adopt a dog and I'm fine, I'm not gonna hurt the dog. So then the social worker might say, okay, I'll come back in another three months and I'll check again. So then they come back in another three months and they come and check. And you open your fridge proudly and you say, look, no more dead animals, no more milk, no more eggs, no more cheese, nothing, no animal products whatsoever. So then they, you say, okay, now can I be able to adopt an animal? And they'll say to you, okay, but you cannot pay for a breeder because that's wrong. Because animals are not here for us to use and breed into existence. So no, you cannot adopt a golden retriever or buy one. You have to actually adopt whatever dog is available at the shelter at the time. So yeah, I guess it could be a golden retriever if there's one there. And you're like, damn, I wanted to have a golden doodle or whatever the heck, some sort of combination, some sort of specific type of dog. And then the, the new rule would be, no, nope, you just get to have whatever dogs are available that need homes, need loving homes. So go to the shelter, 
and pick out a dog that needs a loving home. And if you don't find a dog, then sorry, you can't have a dog. The same for a cat. See, that's how a perfect world would be. That we wouldn't keep on breeding animals into existence. And here's the other thing, the next step. So after you have established that you're allowed to adopt a dog from a shelter, the next set of questionnaire on the questionnaire would be, what are you going to feed your dog? And you're probably going to say, well, just dog food from the dog store. And then the social worker or therapist or whoever's interviewing will say, um, nope, wrong answer. You cannot pay people to murder animals and then feed those to your dog. How is that helping anything? So you're going to be like, but what do I do? And then the therapist or the social worker or whoever is checking out to see whether you are the type of person who could adopt a dog will say, well, you have to look up vegan dog food brands. So you do that. I'll be back in three months. So they leave and then they come back again three months later and they say they spot check and they say, okay, let's see your dog food. And then you open up your cupboard and you show them a bag of vegan dog food that is vet approved. And then, then, then do you think you should pass the test and be able to adopt an animal? Yes, I think so. I can't think of anything else. At that point, you're vegan, you're not hurting animals, you're going to adopt an animal, so you're gonna save an animal, so you're not going to be creating a new one, and you're going to be feeding that animal vegan pet food. In that case, you should be allowed to adopt an animal. In other words, there should also never be snakes in people's houses. You know snakes or other animals that require other animals to be murdered for them. Cats is a whole interesting thing. There are many people that I know who have vegan cats, but apparently sometimes it's a bit tricky. You have to give them extra water and you know, some of them are picky, so you have to kind of flavor it with a little bit of oil sometimes, but there are, are vegan cats and you can have a cat that's vegan and be completely healthy. Remember, they just need the nutrients. They don't need to actually eat the dead animals. So what do you guys think about all this? How do you imagine a future like that? Would it be a good idea? Do you see any flaw in this idea? A perfect world would be where we don't create animals just for us. That's what veganism is. It's about doing the least harm. And yes, most people love animals. Most people really like cats or dogs, one or the other. And it's fun to have them as companions, it's true. But the reality is that we create them for us and that's not okay. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about today's lesson, about the thoughts that I've presented here today. If you agree or disagree, just talk about it. You know, but actually give some good arguments. Don't just, you know, spam a bunch of meat emojis or just say a fuck you to me all the time. Like try to actually think it through, right? So thanks for being here. If you like having these kind of discussions, you know, press the like button, subscribe, and you know, press the notification bell too press the notification bell and help me get the animals out of hell. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now.